welcome back. My name's Edward here at Universal Hyundai. I'm one of the VIP consultants. And today we're gonna take um, a look at the Hyundai Elantra Value Edition. We're gonna take it for a quick spin. Um, and this is a Value Edition, as I mentioned, and it comes with a lot of normal, or a lot of nice features that, you know, you normally wouldn't receive in an entry level vehicle. Um, it comes with the proximity key, so it has the push to start. Um, it has heated seats, as well as a sunroof. So a lot of nice features. If you are, if you do love the sunroof, you can open it up, um, kind of have the wind blowing through your hair. It's a nice little feature there. Um, something I really enjoy actually is the dual AC unit. So let's say you know I like it freezing. I want it to be 63 degrees. Um, my spouse, for some odd reason, wants it to be 98 degrees or whatever. So the highest it goes is 89, which is pretty hot. But um, you are able to adjust your side, or your spouse or whoever's in the passenger seat are able to adjust their side. So a nice little feature there. It has a clean iodizer from the AC unit. It says it right there, clean air. So the vehicle, it's going to give you clean air throughout whenever the AC is on. So a nice feature. It does come with a blind spot detection because it is a value addition. So we will have the blind spot detection. It uses sonar readers all around the vehicle to not only alert you if there is a vehicle in your blind spot, detect in your blind spot but also alert you if there is a vehicle approaching your blind spot that you may not think will be... Uh, well, my, which you may not think will cause an accident, you know what I mean? So it'll alert you if a vehicle is going fast and may not be in your blind spot right away, but will be in your blind spot shortly. The vehicle will alert you um, not only with a visual, but also an audio warning. You're gonna have all your little features for the vehicle to adjust the radio, cruise control, the volume, things like that, right here on the steering wheel. You're also able to make a, uh, receive and end phone calls here as well. You can make phone calls. So if I needed to call my mom, my father, uh, my spouse, I just hit this. It'll ask me what I need. And from there, I'm able to say, hey, call mom, just like you normally would with your phone. And the, the phone, or I'm sorry, um, the vehicle itself and the computer will call mom right away. Pretty good feature. We do have a drive mode as well. So... Right now, the car is in its normal drive mode. If I push it once, the vehicle will go in eco mode, which will help you save a little bit of gas. If I push it again, the vehicle will go in sport mode. Now, what happens with the sport mode is it tightens the suspension, also tightens the wheel a little bit so you, get, uh, so you have better control, uh, and it gives it a little bit more power. So what I, uh, what I always you know, recommend is when you're merging onto the highway, put it in sport mode, get a little bit of extra power so you are able to merge comfortably um, sometimes someone may, may or may not let you in right away, so you might need to uh, slow down or speed up to get in. So that's when I recommend the sport mode. However, when you're on the highway and you're there for a comfortable drive and you're just cruising, put it in eco. You know, help save yourself some gas, definitely. Um, and that's just how I do it. So when you're merging, put it in sport. When you're on the highway comfortable, put it in eco. Um, if you're just someone who just likes the sporty drive all the time and wants to hit the corners hard, um, wants to have a little bit of extra power, just leave it in sport mode. So not bad there. A lot of things going on here. You are able to listen to the radio. This is all touchscreen. So if you didn't want to use the Apple CarPlay, you just wanted to use the radio, this is all touchscreen. You can click on the radio. You can adjust things to your liking. We have a sunglass holder right here. Now what I use it for more or less is um, I have a gate key card. You can put it here. But I tend to just put it here. I don't know. It's just better access for myself. So, and it's a habit. But, um, not necessarily four sunglasses. Well, it is four sunglasses, but you don't necessarily have to use it four sunglasses. And it does, like I said, it is a proximity key. So, it is a push to start. You can also open the doors from outside the vehicle with just the push of a button. You don't need to have the keys in your hand. You can have them in your pocket. Push the, door, the button on the door, and it'll open right on up. So, it's convenient for me, you know. Usually I have uh, my son or groceries or just a number of different things. If I'm heading out to the beach, I'll have a whole bunch of things. I don't always have time to fiddle with my keys. So, but we're heading back to the dealership now, guys. Please don't forget at the bottom to like, um, like us on Facebook, YouTube, subscribe to us. Um, if you ever are in the, the Orlando area, please stop by, even if it's just to take a look, test drive. Um, my name is Edward. I'll be more than happy to assist you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you.